Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today I'm in a place called Kars, Turkey. It's going to be one of the very last two cities, two towns that I'm in for um, this journey here before I go to my next country, which is going to be Georgia. It's pretty cool. They have a huge castle over here. I looked at Google Maps this morning and I realized that they have like a river running through this town. So I guess today's mission is going to be walking along the river just to see what it looks like. First stop is the castle. A lot of it is still intact, which is awesome. I don't think I'm gonna go inside because I've been inside like a thousand castles in the last couple of months this summer. So I'm pretty much castled out. But this one, I must say, this has gotta be one of the coolest looking ones I've seen, but I don't think I'm gonna go inside. Anyway, so this river is disgusting. I thought maybe someone would be swimming and I would go swimming, but hell no. This is like awful. There's more garbage in here than water. It's disgusting. So definitely no on the swimming part, but anyway, kind of a cool place. I noticed tons of brides and grooms are doing a lot of photo shoots here since I walked in. I can see one right now, but um, there were like three sets earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Telephone, var mı? Telephone. Telephone. This one? Ne? China. <laughs> yes. Oh, kaş, ka? Translate. Turkey. Video kalitesi kaç ka? 6K. 6K. This one, 8. Video kalitelerini bizi de çekti. Akşam izleyelim. That doesn't make any sense. In the video, Cancer, let's watch the evening we also pulled. <laughs> <gülüyor> yeah? Gelmedi sen. No, no. <gülüyor> Videolarında bizi de çekebilir misin şu an izleyelim? I am filming as I walk around your neighborhood. Period. The video will be available in about 60 days. Mm. Mm -hmm. It takes endless hours to edit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Zoom. <gülüyor> yeah. Bu videoları nereden düzenliyorsun? Computer, laptop. Var mı laptop? laptop. Nerede? Hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. So change plans. Uh, a couple locals stopped me and wanted to know if I was a YouTuber and it started the conversation. So we talked for like 15 minutes and now they offered to take me into the castle to show me some of the highlights. He just translated, because we don't speak the same language, uh, that inside there is a tomb of a man who is fighting, got his head cut, cut off and he picked up his head and continue fighting with his head under his arm. And what did you say your name was? My name is Ozan. Ozan. My name is Fukan. Fukan. Yes. Fukan and Ozan. Ozan has a big grenade on his arm, yeah? Kaboom! Boom! So we haven't even made it to the top yet, and we're all panting like dogs. The guy in the middle here says that his brother's name is Burak, which is basically my name in this country. You can barely breathe. It says it was built in 1153 AD by a guy, and it was repaired in 1579. The tomb of Jalal Baba. Like Father Jalal. What is it? Salal Baba. I don't know what this is. So inside here is the tomb of the soldier who fought without a head. It even says right here somewhere. People still talk about his very interesting legend, legend that he took his head that fallen to the ground with a sword cut when fighting and he carried it by fighting and then reached to the place where the tomb is today. So I guess, I don't know, he fought, for, according to this guy, he fought for an hour with his head in his hand, and then finally he died here. Wow, interesting. So we arrived to the first little section here. I must say it is really beautiful here. Let me uh, take a photo with my phone. Gotta do Instagram while I'm doing YouTube. That's fun. Ah, shit. Very big cannon here. I don't know how old the cannon is. The castle mosque. The castle state destroyed by the Muslim invasion. Is rebuilt. So yeah, it was built, I don't know, a couple different numbers, but 
part of the restoration that you're seeing is from 1579. Bu gördüğün yer önceden tüneldi. Bir ucu Rusya'ya çıkıyordu. This place you see was in the tunnel before, one end leading to Russia. Oh, must have been a one hell of a tunnel leading to Russia. We are several hundred kilometers away from Russia. Wow. Yeah, this is a really cool view. I think the people who live in those apartments over there have the best view. God, look at that castle. It's a really cool castle, I must say. It's very intact. Very intact, very beautiful. Okay, so I got some clarification. He says that this used to be a tunnel and it would actually, the tunnel went down somehow over here and connected all the way to that mountain. You see like holes in the mountain over there? And then from those holes, there were more tunnels and trails that led all the way to Russia. I don't know, Russia is literally like 200 kilometers from here. I don't know how far it is, but it's it's quite far. Let me, let me check. Yeah, I'm about right, it's about 200 kilometers, so some seriously long tunnel systems. So now we entered a building. I don't know what it is, it looks abandoned. He said that we should go in here. I don't know. Not sure. Kind of cool though. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. So windy. Wow. So we're on our way down. They uh, spent a lot of time making a TikTok video. So I'm very curious what the, the final product will look like. I'm not sure if I will ever see it or not, but I don't know. They spent quite a bit of time creating it. That's what they do. They actually earn an income from TikTok. So that's interesting. I didn't even know that was possible. We have to go now. I'm glad to meet you. Hope to see you again. Likewise. Thank you for all your help. It was a lot of fun. Biz thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Boom. Boom. Görüşürüz YouTube. Sen takip. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Take care. Yeah. Goodbye. So that was fun. We uh, we hung out for probably two hours. I met them over there by the building that is green, and they just kind of invited me to the top of the castle to show me around. It's kind of cool. My goal still is to go this way. I, I guess I'm going to follow the river. Mm, just because water is cool, even though it's smelly. Yeah, Google Maps says that if I follow this road over here, it will lead me to another park. I'm curious to see what that park looks like. Wow, this is literally not what I expected at all. Absolutely amazing. Everybody is here. What time is it? It is 4.15 p.m. and literally half the city is here in this park with their friends, with their family, hanging out, cooking, barbecuing, and just enjoying each other's company. My God, this is how life should be. This is so cool. What the hell is wrong with America? <laughs> we have so many rules and regulations against everything. And so you can't even hardly do anything outside of your own home. This is the coolest shit ever. This is how it should be. Wow. This is really cool. I like this. Everywhere that I go, it is just looks like this. I'm not even sure if people live in these houses anymore, but nobody's outside. It's totally empty. It's kind of creepy. I want to go this way, but part of me says no. I think I'm just going to head back into town and see what else I can find. So 
I was just walking for like 20 minutes until I realized I'm walking in the direction of the museum, not the castle. I kind of walked a little bit way out of my way, so now I gotta turn around and go this way. The intersections, some of these intersections, have no light. It's just uh, all four directions, that, uh, all four cars, they come and slow down and just don't hit each other. So yesterday, as I was coming in, I noticed there was a park over here. I figured, I tried to look for a hotel over here. Ah, there's one. I didn't see that last time, so I ended up getting a hotel so far in the center of the city. Anyway, I wanted to come here because it looks kind of cool. Looks like a big park on Google. Not as much activity here as what I thought. I had just assumed that there'd be a lot of shops where I could eat like a dinner or something, but no, it's really windy. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. Just kind of like a place to come and hang out and sit, I guess. So I sat here for like 20 minutes, did some Instagramming, catching up. Now I think I'm heading back to the castle, which is like a about a kilometer and a half, I think. So I made it back. There's definitely more people here than there were before. Um, definitely more sellers. The guy over here next to me with the balloons, he's wearing a jacket. It's, it's, uh, I'm further north in the country and fall is coming and there's a storm coming. If you look to my left, it's raining over there and it's coming my direction. So I have to kind of go home very soon. What time is it? It's almost six o'clock. I think it'll be a perfect time for me to leave because I really don't want to be here during the rain. For two days, it's going to rain. I'm just walking around. Looks like there's a really nice restaurant here. Far too expensive for me. I don't even need to see the menu to know that I'm too poor for that place. I think I'm pretty much done. Yeah, out of my budget. Oh my God. So definitely the best part of the day was when the, uh, where were they? Over there, the local guys found me and brought me up top. I think that's always my favorite part of every day when I travel the world, when you meet local people and interact with them. Uh, young, old, male, female, rich, poor, doesn't really matter. It's just fun. I'm gonna call it a day. I gotta still find some, find some dinner before I go home and do that before the rain starts coming. God, it's beautiful here, huh? That sunset, it's really cool. I like it. Cool place, cool town. As always, I'd like to spend more time here, but unfortunately, my visa runs out. Anyway, that's it. I could mumble on forever. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.